Hi, this is Chiran Jeevi. This question appeared on December 19, 2016, CSIR Net. The question is, the intermediate that leads to the product in the following transformation is. Okay, we have uh, cyclohexene and on reaction with thallium nitrate and methanol. Okay, we have this product. So, what will be the uh, intermediate? So, leads this product we need to find. Okay, right. First of all, So this cyclohexene act as this olefin in cyclohexene ring. It act as nucleophile and attacks thallium. Okay. And from from the thallium. So it bonds with this electrophilic part of the cyclohexene and then so this will get and thallium gets positive charge okay next and this methanol act as nucleophile CS3OH okay and this attacks here and this is bulky thallium group and methanol also bulky hence they should be in opposite direction okay right so from that we can write so if we think this with oxide anion attacks from the top of the cyclohexene ring then okay so thallium goes down of the ring okay right so if you observe this trans compound in its chair conformation okay so in its chair conformation so we know that one comma two substituted uh, trans converted in in its uh, chair like form they give equatorial equatorial or axial axial conformation okay so that means so we have two chances here one is OCH3 and thallium nitrate okay and another one is this is axial and axial okay right next OCH3 and thallium nitrate so this is equatorial equatorial so if you observe here there is more crowd okay so that's why this axial axial is less stable when we come when we uh, compared with this equatorial equatorial we know that okay so that's why so this is the major and stable one when we compare this axial compound okay right so further so on the elimination of this thallium nitrate so thallium nitrate eliminates then so this bond goes on here and next one methaxy another methaxy group attacks here okay so from that we can get OCH3 and this is equals to
OCH3, OCH3. Okay, so this is the final compound we can get. Right. So if you observe here, so we know that the eliminations should be anti. That means so the thallium is in equatorial position. So to eliminate this thallium, so another equatorial group should add here. Okay. So here, if you observe, this is also equatorial. And the, the from the axis, and the electrons doesn't come here. Okay, so because this is more alternative atom, it attracts electrons towards it. So that's why it not part of the uh, this elimination. So that's why this equatorial and this equatorial. Okay, so these are anti in position. So that's why this bond goes on here and thallium eliminates and this positive charge. Uh, attracted by this OCH3 and it attacks here and the final product is this one so from this so this is the uh, possible intermediate and which from which we can get this the um, this product okay so answer is the second option is the right one for the given problem so if you like my videos please subscribe my channel thank you